You know, every, every bomb Israel is dropping on our children is American-made. These 2,000 pounds uh, 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 bombs that they have been dropping, and you've just quoted uh, their spokespeople saying that, oops, these bombs kill many people, that w when we intended this bomb has more collateral damage. Uh, uh, these are American bombs. So who's responsible here? So America would stop this now if they stop providing Israel with, with weapons, with bombs, with these lethal weapons that have ended up in the bare bodies of our children. So America is responsible, Amy. It is responsible. And it must stop sending weapons to Israel immediately. And it must stop vetoing our efforts at the Security Council to stop this carnage, this madness. And by the way, Amy, this madness is not going to stop only on the borders of Israel-Palestine. You are already seeing the region. And, uh, you know, more than six arenas are engaged now. And Israel is bombarding Lebanon, Syria, uh, uh, Yemen is involved, and God knows what will happen next. But also, the effect of this on humanity, I mean, on liberal democracies. Look, look what is happening in the U.S. Look what is happening in the U.K. and everywhere. There are some politicians who are going out of their way to shield Israel and in the process undermining the very foundation of liberal democracies, like people's right to protest, to speak, to express, to boycott. In your, in your country, in the U.S., you know, many states have used the power of the law, legislating, so people will have to, in a way, sign a contract if they are going to deal with the federal government or any public body, that they will never boycott uh, anything to do with Israel, even the settlement. Here in the UK, they're using the power of the, uh, of the law to make sure that here people will not divest from the illegal settlements, the illegal colonial settlements according to UK law, US law, and international law, of course. So this is a moment when everybody, that's why, by the way, I mean, you've seen the hundreds of thousands of people here, here behind me in London uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and you will see many of them because these millions of people here and worldwide have discovered that actually Israel is not just oppressing the Palestinians. Israel is oppressing every one of them. Israel is oppressing humanity. Israel is dragging the entire world into this immoral orbit of wars and oppression and suppression of an entire people. And in the process, the world is losing its own international system, i.e. the United Nations, the Security Council, all the rules we created after the Second World War. What is the international order? What is the essence of the international order? It is that war should not be the first option. That's number one rule. That's why we have Security Council to prevent wars. Number two, should wars be an option? There are rules for these wars. The Geneva Conventions, one of which is don't target civilians, and you must protect civilians as an occupier. And number three, there is accountability should war crimes uh, have been uh, committed. The U.S. has completely destroyed, enabled Israel to destroy all these provisions and rules and premises of uh, the international order. And, Amy, if you allow me, and this is for the Biden administration to think about very seriously, to think about the impact, the impact that Israel has normalized the mass murder of children, the mass murder of families and civilians, the mass destruction of hospitals, schools, universities. Normalizing such scenes is going to have severe, severe consequences on our humanity, on how the world will function. Uh, um, not, not even about the U.S. role. I think, I believe the U.S. has lost its role, not only in Israel-Palestine. The U.S. will not have standing in the South, the U.S. will not have standing in the East anymore. The U.S. has really made this all about Israel for reasons beyond our discussion. It's almost, for many people in the South and in the, in the East, it feels it's a cultural war waged by the U.S. And, and Israel is, the, uh, you know, that, that alliance unbreakable uh, uh, trumps anything. It trumps our laws, it trumps our humanity, it trumps our security, it trumps our children, it trumps everything.